the beings, it is the same. The bad can become good and the good can become bad. This is why we know that no dharma has a fixed nature. The transformations brought about by the power of the abhanas are real and not false. If each thing had a fixed nature originally, it could never be transformed. C. I. R. D. Thirdly, the noble magical power is to have domination dependent on good pleasure over the six sense objects. 1. Faced with a pleasant object to produce a notion of unpleasantness. 2. Faced with an unpleasant object to produce a notion of pleasantness. 3. Eliminating both the notions of pleasantness and unpleasantness to become established in a mind of indifference. This is the threefold abhana of noble magical power. The Buddha alone possesses this abhana of domination. b. Abhana of divine hearing. The Bodhisattva in possession of this abhana of magical power moves through the Buddha fields but in these various fields the languages are not the same, and the Bodhisattva, not understanding the small beings located afar, seeks the abhana of divine hearing. Remembering always the great sounds pronounced in many audiences, he grasps their characteristics and cultivates the practice of them. As a result of this continuous practice, his ear contacts a subtle matter derived from the four great elements of the world of form and possessing this matter, he succeeds in hearing at a distance. Without any difficulty, the Bodhisattva penetrates articulated sounds, divine and human, whether coarse or subtle, distant or close. 2. Order proposed by the Dhyana Sutra. Question. See what is said in the Chan King. 1. First the ascetic obtains the divine eye. 2. Having seen beings but not hearing their sounds, he seeks the abhana of divine hearing. 3. Possessing the divine sight and divine hearing. He perceives the bodily shape of beings as well as their articulated sounds, but he does not understand their language or the various expressions of sadness or joy, of suffering or happiness. This is why he seeks the unhindered knowledge of expression. But then he only knows the expressions of beings and does not know their minds. This is why he seeks the knowledge of another's mind. 4. Knowing the minds of other 5a beings, he still does not know where they originally came from. This is why he seeks the abhana of remembering former abodes. 5. Knowing their origin now, he wants to cure their mental illness. This is why he seeks the abhana of the destruction of the impurities. 6. Thus furnished with the five abhanas, he cannot yet perform transformations. Consequently, the beings saved by him are not numerous, for he is unable to subdue people of great merit contaminated by wrong views. This is why he seeks the abhana of magical power. Since this is the order to be followed, why would the Bodhisattva first seek the abhana of magical power? Answer. Among beings, the coarse ones are numerous, the subtle ones are rare. This is why the yogin first uses the abhana of magical power. Actually, the abhana of miraculous power saves many people coarse as well as subtle. This is why the sutra mentions it first. Moreover, the Abhanas differ as to the mode of their acquisition and as to their number. As for their mode of acquisition, many yogins first seek the divine eye because it is easy to obtain. He uses the sun, the moon, stars, pearls and fire, by grasping the common characteristic which is the light. He cultivates it so well, with so much diligence and exertion, that day and night no longer make any difference. Above below, in front behind, this unique, single light rises up before him without obstacle. This is how he acquires the abhana of the divine eye first. As for the other abhanas, he acquires them in the order described above. 3. Order followed by the Buddha on the night of body. Finally, the Buddha taught the order of the abhanas in accord with the way he had acquired them. 1. During the first watch the Buddha obtained one, super-knowledge, abhanara and one, knowledge, vidya, viz. The abhanara of magical power and the vidya of former abodes. 2. During the middle watch, he obtained the abhanara of divine hearing and the vidya of the divine eye. 3. During the last watch, he obtained the abhanara of the awareness of others' minds and the vidya of the destruction of the impurities. Here, since the search for the vidyas consists of the harder effort, they are placed second. 
Abena and Vidya are acquired in an order comparable to that of the four fruits of the religious life where the greatest are placed second. Question. If the divine eye, being easy to obtain, is placed first, why does the Bodhisattva not obtain the divine eye first? Answer. All dharmas are easy for the Bodhisattva to obtain and do not present any difficulty. For other people who are of weak faculties, some are hard to obtain, others are easy. Moreover, during the first watch of the night, when King Mara came to fight against the Buddha, the Bodhisattva, by the power of his Abhena of magical power, performed various transformations that changed the weapons of Mara's warriors into necklaces. Having vanquished Mara's army, the Bodhisattva began to think about this Abhena and wanted to fulfill it completely. He formulated the thought of it and immediately found the position of attack. Completely fulfilling the Abhena, he conquered Mara. Then he wondered why he alone could possess such a great power, and by investigating the Vidya of former abodes, he understood that it was by accumulating the power of merit lifetime after lifetime. During the middle watch, Mara having retreated, calm and tranquility reigned and there was no more noise. Out of loving-kindness and pity for all beings, the Bodhisattva thought about the cries uttered by Mara's troops and gave rise to the Abhena of Divine Hearing and the Vidya of the Divine Eye. Using this divine hearing, he heard the cries of suffering and happiness uttered by beings of the Ten Directions and the Five Destinies. Hearing their cries, he wanted to see their shapes as well and, since the veils prevented his seeing them, he sought the divine eye. During the last watch when he saw the shapes of beings, he wanted to understand their minds and thus by seeking the knowledge of others' minds, he knew the thoughts of beings. Everybody wants to avoid suffering and to look for happiness. This is why the Bodhisattva sought the Abhena of the destruction of impurities. And since, of all happiness, that of the destruction of impurities is the highest, the Bodhisattva causes others attain it. Question. The Bodhisattva who has acquired the conviction that dharmas do not arise has, from one lifetime to the next, always obtained the Abhenas as fruit of retribution. At the time of his enlightenment why does he have doubts about himself and does not know the minds of beings when he sees them? Answer. There are two kinds of bodhisattvas. 1. The bodhisattva with body born of the fundamental element. 2. The bodhisattva who, in order to save beings, assumes human qualities out of skillful means in order to save beings. He is born into the family of King Ching Fan. He makes a trip to the four gates of the city and asks questions about an old man, a sick man and death. This bodhisattva is in possession of the six abhanas when he is seated under the king of the trees. Moreover, the abhanas previously held by this bodhisattva were not yet perfected and it is now, during the three watches of the night that they are really acquired. That this Buddha who exercises human qualities still has doubts of himself does not constitute a fault. Question. Concerning the order of the six abhanas, the divine eye always